Woman says chicks are broke. Dusty. <coughs> because of makeup. In other words, they're broke because they've got to spend so much money to look good. Because if they don't look good, men don't want them. So. I feel like no one talks about how difficult it is as a woman to save money because we okay. have so many costs to just maintain our appearance. So oh. I maintain quite a frugal attitude. Like I don't do my nails. I don't get my hair done. Like I keep everything very, very cheap. Okay, let's talk about this then. Dusty women. <laughs> Wow. So what she's saying is a lot of women out here look dusty and crusty because they can't afford to do so. And in being a, a good looking woman nowadays, to maintain that level of beauty, it costs women a lot of money to be beautiful. So in other words, what she's saying is men should be humble. Yeah, we should be hu humble, humble yourselves, ourselves as men because of how expensive it is for a woman to just look good, to just look beautiful. Yeah. yeah? But my thing is, it is quite insulting how women use their makeup and fake up and special effects and filters to use that as their level of attractiveness. Like, oh, I'm this hot, I'm this fine, I'm this beautiful. Can you afford it? <laughs> can she afford it? Let's be honest here. We as men are visual creatures, yeah, indeed. But can some women even afford to look as good as they do? Can she afford it? I mean, how many women are in debt simply to try to look good? Simply. Now, on one hand, obviously, as men, we get the blame because, you know, because of men, it's because our oh, men's eyes. We've got to look better than that chick over there. Got to look better than that bitch. Really? Really though? Is it men's want and desire or women's own vanity? How much of it is it what we want as men compared to just women's own vanity? And just wanting to look better than that chick because she feels she looks better than that chick. That dusty broad over there. But I still feel like such a pressure to invest in my appearance because from a young age we're taught like our beauty is intrinsic to our value and like mm. i'm a model so that's how i make money so it's just ah. like it's so hard to find a balance between investing in your appearance but also like being able to save invest your money mm. there's a popular like quote that's going around on tiktok saying like you either look rich or you are rich and mm -hmm. you can't really do both and i feel like i try to maintain a bit of both like i think with all personal finance like frugal people they they say like don't try to keep up with the joneses don't maintain mm. appearances but i think sometimes it's important for like networking for maintaining like a personal exactly you know i talk about fomo a lot fear of missing out and how fear of missing out keeping up with the joneses affects so many women but of course it would this is part of why so many women are so insecure and this is the thing as a man trying to date a modern woman who is so insecure about every effing thing. This affects you too, because you're trying to get to know the woman while she's trying to flipping fake and act, something that's not even real, to keep up with people that aren't real themselves. So this is my point. Even when there's nothing wrong with the relationship with you and the woman, her fear of not being or looking like this effing fake illusionary chick could just throw a spanner in the works of you just trying to get to know the woman, you trying to be with the woman. Some would act as if this is not a big thing, and yes it is. It's a very, very big thing. Because I do believe what makes a lot of women just so cold and robotic nowadays is their want to chase an illusion, their own delusions of trying to be this fake flipping woman. When it's like, as a man, yo, I just, I just want a decent woman. But no, 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 she has to fit in. The FOMO is keeping her locked in this flipping prison cell of just fakery, fake up and surgery. No, it's kind of sad to be honest. The brand, like I always think that a personal brand is super important. Like me making content, like if I didn't present myself in a certain way, then you know I don't think I'd get as many views. Like I think maintaining a good mm. appearance, like all of these things, are necessary to create extra income, especially as a woman. And it shouldn't have to be that way, but I think sadly it is. I think this is just a reminder to anyone that's in a similar position to me, where they're living at home, they're trying to save every single cost as much as possible in order to reach their goals that sometimes these things are necessary to invest in. And like, for example, I do have a designer bag, but that doesn't mean that I'm a frivolous person. Like sometimes <laughs> you can have something and literally use it every single day and get them. Okay, obviously women have to do a lot of things to maintain their appearance. And obviously this is her job. It's her job to maintain appearance. But without it being her job, like she says, and like a lot of people know, but some don't want to admit, yeah, a woman's looks is part of her value as cold as it is like a man's earning potential is his it's part of the world we live in can't help that but when men talk about how unfair it is that women use their fake up and makeup as their level of appearance oh she's a 10 because of how expensive her makeup is and surgeries that's bs you see a lot of men call cap because we know most women do not look like how we see them we know the real woman is when she's just woken up 
fresh out the shower or she's just been swimming or something. Because it is expensive for a lot of women to look good, yeah. But it's such a high to fall from when you realise oh, you don't even look like that. Deception. Lies. Lies. Yeah, woman, you're catfishing me. I used out of it. And I think that goes for everything in life. Like, if you have something that you truly value, then it's not a waste of money. That value is just transmitted to somewhere else. Like, it's not gone. That money isn't gone. It's not necessarily an investment because I don't think I'd sell it for more than I pay for it but it's just that I get the use out of it that I wanted and I think it's so important to stress that balance between maintaining appearances which is kind of necessary for the income that I'm trying to receive and also making content about saving money.